Exatamente. Supply and demand zinapatikana kwenye trend mbili, uptrend na downtrend. Kwenye consolidation hakuna supply wala demand. Kwa sababu gani? Kwa sababu kwenye consolidation hakuna samu ambapo utaona smart money wamebuy au wamesell. Huo ni muda wa accumulation. Wanaacha market iende juu rudi chini iende juu rudi chini ili wajue walio buy na walio sell ni wangapi. Alafu waamue kubai au kusell. Tumeelewana hapo. Kwa hiyo huwezi ukatafuta supply na demand kwenye kwenye consolidation. Tumeelewana? Hiyo ni sababu ya msingi. Kwa hiyo in short unachola vipi hizi supply and demand? Tutaanza na uh, supply na demand kwenye kwenye simple way ya kuzipata, okay? Mfano kuna uptrend Waje kucheza na ka, na nani na video zizo zina disturb watu kwa sababu zinakuja kwenye screen zinajaa. Kwa zima hiyo video. Kwenye uptrend kama hii Tulisema kwenye uptrend unakuwa na nini? Unakuwa na Unakuwa na high 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 low. Unakuwa na demand au supply? Aha. Kwenye uptrend unakuwa na Unakuwa na supply. Hapana. Mm, Unakuwa na demand sorry sir. Unakuwa na demand okay? Yes, yes. Demand kwa maana ya kwamba uh, demand hapa ni samwe ambapo tunafikiria kwamba smart man wali buy. Sawa? So, Unadhani maeneo gani ambayo unafikiria smart man wali buy? Kwenye which structures? Tulisema kwenye uptrend tuna structure ya high highs and higher lows. Unafikiri ni maeneo gani smart man wana buy kati ya high highs na higher lows? Smart man wana buy kwenye higher high ambapo ndo kuna break of structure. Kwa hiyo atabai hapa unamaanisha. Ndio. Sasa wakibai hapa huoni kwamba market inaenda chini. Watakuwa na akili timamu kweli. Mhm. Unaweza ukabai hapa? Ah hapa unapata hasara. Cause market itarudi chini. Ukibai hapa utapata hasara pia. Market itarudi chini. Lazima itakuta itakutana na stop loss yako buy hapa the same that is wrong eh uh wana -huh. buy wapi maana kwa tutaangalia high low ambao itakuwa inapandisha juu maana kwa high low ikutana na break of structure hapo ikivunja hapo inaenda juu ndo ata buy hawata subiri ivunje ndo buy nimeelewa eh ndio wata buy kwenye demand wata buy kwenye demand kwenye demand ambapo ni wapi sasa ndio tunataka kuijua hiyo demand hapo iko wapi hiyo higher low yeah sawa so, hizi lows higher lows hii si naenda juu these guys lazima wata buy higher maeneo so unanielewa these guys wana buy higher maeneo ndio maana unaona movement hii iko strong kuliko hizi retracement wana buy expansion unanielewa ukisema una buy hapa kwanza moja kwa moja unakuwa umekosea Sawa. So, una buy hapa chini kwa haya maeneo ndo yana demand. Sawa, so, these areas. These areas ndo zina demand. Why? Because black of structure assuming tu kwa muonekano kama huu, black of structure tutasema movement ambayo imesababisha black of structure imeanzia hapa chini kwenye haya low. Sawa. So, kwa hiyo hapa ndo kuna demand. Why? Because hii black of structure imetokana na the movement ambayo imeanzia kwenye haya low. Likewise hapa hii break of structure imetokana kutokana na movement iliyoanzia hapa ambapo ni kwenye demand. Hivyo hivyo. Tumeelewana hapo. Kwa hiyo break of structure na confirm kwamba this is the strong demand 
ila haionyeshi kwamba hapo ndo unapata demand. Unaelewana? Block structure ndio ina confirm kwamba this is this is demand. Unaelewana? Kwa maana ya kwamba utakuta sometime market imefanya hivi. Sawa? So, Baada ya kuja hapa inakuwa imeishia hapa. Sawa? So, Uwezo ukaje ukaniambia this is demand. This one. This is not a demand. Why because ime fail kuvunja wapi? This is structure. Tunaelewana hapa? Menielewa sasa demand ni nini yeah. sio? Hmm? Ndio sasa ndio. Sichanganye mafaili. Eh, yeah. maana ni vizuri kuuliza pia sawa. Unaweza kwa ukafikiri umeelewa kumbe kujaelewa because uh, hiki kitu ambacho nafundisha ni more conceptual. Kwa lazima mwe mnauliza maswali. So, uh, hapa utapata supply. Okay. So hapa tuna lower lows and lower highs. Supply yetu tunaipata wapi? Siogope kujibu. Miko mtazamo wangu supply tunaipata kwenye lower high. Kwenye lower lower, lower high. high. Okay, na sio lower lows. Okay, why? Because unaangalia expansion inaanzia at which point? Expansion zote zinaanzia kwenye lower 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 high, si ndio? Hapa zote expansion. Expansion ndo tunasema smart money movement. Kwa hapa ndo una nini? Una supply. Tutaenda kusoma vizuri kwamba hizi supply tunazichora vipi. Okay, inaweza kawa kendo, inaweza kawa wiki kwenye kuzichora. Tutaangalia huko mbele, okay? Na hizi kwa nini? Why because black box zimevunja these structures. See? Baada ya kwa ime sell hapa, ilikuja kwa nguvu ikavunja this structure. Ilikuja kwa nguvu ikavunja this structure. Kuja ikavunja this structure. Kwa hii na confirm this is our supply. Yeah, yes. Tumeelewana mpaka hapo? Kwa tukija tuka confirm tuka add maswala ya time frame sasa analysis uh, tuka add na maswala ya liquidity tunakuwa tumeimaliza kazi. So hizi ndo supply and demand. Kwa lazima supply and demand lazima kuwe na black structure alafu lazima kuwe na expansion move. Lazima kuwe na high momentum au inefficiency wanaita. Lazima movement iwe unaona kama oh, let me show you. Lazima zitembee hivi yani sharp Yaani kuwa na high strong movement. So unakuta iko hivi. Imefika hapa imefeli, alafu wewe unakuja unatuambia this this is supply. Kisa tumeiona iko juu. Hapana. Unaelewa? Sawa? Au ikafanya hivi, ile inaonyesha kitu. Sawa? Hii haiwezi kuwa supply kwa sababu ili fail kuja kuvunja hapa. <coughs> movement iliyovunja hapa ni this one. Najua hapa ni tutaanza kuchanganya maswara ila tutaelewana tu. Sababu ndo naelekea huko. Ila ni hapa. So this is our supply and not this one. Why? Because hii ilishindwa kuvunja. Then this movement ndo imekuja ikavunja this is structure. Ndio maana unapokuwa sema returning to the uh, supply au demand. So lazima price ilitani huku juu eti ilikoanzia huku. Kwa sababu sometimes unakuta hii sio supply. Kwa hiyo inaishia kwenye supply hapa alafu inaendelea chini. Tumeelewana? Okay? Tumeelewana? Eh, yeah, ndio. Vizuri. Naomba nifute hivi vitu. Yeah, Naomba nifute kwanza hivi vitu. Alafu tu refresh mind hapo.